Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading from now until the end of November. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus using the Vice Versa deck. I cut the deck, this deck is the only deck I do that with. There's uh, images on both sides, so you some people would say that one side is reversed, but it's really just a different meaning to me anyway. Um, anyhow, this is for Aquarius. I cut it to the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and it looks like he is thinking about doing something, but he's not moving yet. So you may be dealing with somebody, or this could be you thinking about making a move. Um, but there's really no action being taken because we're trying to come up with a solid plan here. You know, what's the most practical approach? So I think whatever is happening is slow going, but it's going to lead you to something solid because there's a lot of um, accepting responsibility and planning and practicality in it, whatever it is. All right. So you guys, something is moving very slow, but when you get to wherever you're going, it's going to be very successful. Okay. So let's see what we got for Aquarius. You may be getting sick of the slow, the slowness, you know. You're ready. It's like you're ready for this love. You're ready for this emotional support. You're ready for this relationship growth, whatever it is. And you may be coming to the point where you're getting sick of waiting. You're getting sick of waiting. You're like, I, I this is taking way too long to come into my life, this emotional fulfillment, whatever it is. It's taking too long. You may feel like you're going it nowhere. You know, you're going nowhere. Now, this is also a card of divine timing, and it is a temperance card, but you, some people would say this is reverse. It's like you need to wait. You need to wait, and you're sick of waiting. I can see that you're sick of waiting. It's like you've put in a lot of effort. You've done a lot of work. You've been manifesting this emotional fulfillment for quite some time. It's like, where the hell is it? Where is it? I'm sick of it. I want it now. I want it now. Um, so you're probably in the process of making some changes in your life and you're manifesting things and what I have to tell you that whatever you are manifesting it, it's gonna come it is gonna come and that cup is gonna be full it's gonna be really um, emotionally rewarding but patience is the virtue here I understand that you're sick of it but you got to be patient it's coming your your wish whatever it is that you're manifesting is coming it is coming don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. You may go through periods of time where you feel feel like you're on your own. You've got nobody, you know, that but but they hear you and what you have been manifesting is transpiring behind the scenes. Trust me it is. It is divine timing worth waiting for. What you are going to receive is going to be solid. It's going to be long term when you get it. It's going to be emotionally fulfilling and good things come to those who wait, okay, and persevere. So I got the goosebumps like crazy. So you may feel like you're going, getting nowhere, but you are. You absolutely are. Um, oh, the goosebumps are so strong. It's not all through my back even. I don't usually have that that strong now this for some of you is in regards to love we have the two of cups we have the lovers card we have the knight of cups you know if you've been if you're single and you're waiting for love it's coming and it's going to be real it's going to be the real deal it's a perfect match i'm not kidding and it's a soulmate connection okay so yes it's worth waiting for absolutely it is worth waiting for because this is I mean look at these people look at these people they don't even have to try they are able to mimic each other's movements with ease and they don't they're not even trying to 
they are mirrors okay they're mirrors of each other it's it's just such an easy um, beautiful relationship it's your, it's a dream come true this is the ace of cups on this card it's just true love so if you've been manifesting true love rest assured that it's coming it is coming and you know for it could even come into your life this week if you or in the next 10 days this is for well it's November 20th through the 30th it could come in if you are single you know and you've been waiting a long time it could come in it could absolutely come in uh, this in the next 10 days January just popped into my mind I don't know why but something to do with January maybe you have to wait till January I don't know but I feel like you guys are learning strength and patience. The strength card is about patience, you know. But this is an eight. The eight is eight is the time of, as now. The time is now. Now, notice we both have the infinity symbol right here and right here. Right now, you guys are gaining strength. You're regaining your power. You're finding your inner power. You are going through some sort of. Um, well, I would call it like an upload or uh, spiritual awakening, something like that, where you're gaining momentum, okay? You're becoming stronger within, all right? Um, so right now, you may be going through some sort of taking a break from love, and you may not want to take this break from love, but if that's the case, this break is just about over because somebody is coming with an offer if you are single, Um if you are in a relationship right now, your relationship could step it up a notch. It could go to the next level where there's even a proposal. I mean, if you are in a relationship now. Um, some of you are needing to make a choice between two lovers because that's what the lover's card is. It's a choice between two. Okay, it means that usually when I see the lover's card, it is when you're with somebody and you think that person is the one or you thought that person was the one and then all of a sudden somebody comes into your life unexpectedly. This person is not your usual type and there's a soulmate attraction, a soulmate connection. And then you're like, oh my God, I'm drawn to this new love. I'm drawn to this new love. What am I going to do? Now you have to make that unexpected choice. This is a card of choice. It's also a card of consequences. So you have to make the choice. Do you do you stay where you're at? And that's why somebody that's why things are slow. It's right under this lover's card because you're trying to make the most practical decision. So if you are a woman Aquarius watching this, you're probably retreating. You're probably retreating. You're probably um, trying to figure out what is the best step to take. Should I should I stay where I'm at or should I move forward with this new love connection? It feels as though whoever is coming into your life right now is somebody that you have been waiting for. It's somebody you've been waiting for. And it feels as though you are going to need to find a lot of strength and courage to follow your passion because the magician is a person that fo follows their passions and they use all the resources within them to do so, okay? So this in the magician also sheds his old skin and that takes strength to do that. Okay? So you may be needing to find your strength to let go of something to have this divine partnership that is absolutely available for you. There is a there is a soulmate connection here for you. Um we do have somebody that is blocking it though. They're blocking something from happening. Um, because of the fear of the unknown, you know, you're at this crossroads and you have to make a decision. Now, we always got to see what's mirroring each other. Decision, decision. Between two, between two. A lot of you have to make a decision between two. Do you stay where you're at or do you accept this new love connection that is everything you ever dreamed of? That's what this is. That's what I see. You have somebody coming in with an offer of love. You may be, they may be like literally knocking at your door or sending you messages or something like that. And, and this is why you're so distraught because you're probably going to have to leave somebody out in the cold to go down that road, you know. But for some of you, you're in a dead end situation and you're just going to have to accept what is 
and speak your truth even if it scares you, even if it hurts, okay? So I feel like some of you have to make a decision between two, okay? Do you stay where you're at where, you know, it's it, it may be stable, maybe it's financially stable or it's what you know or do you move in the new direction towards everything you ever wanted because you have this new connection here. You do have a new love connection and I feel like right now you are pretty... You may be retreating and feeling uncomfortable because you're going to have to evolve. You're going to have to let something go, and that's difficult. This, this is the strength card is the strength to let go, and that's what it is, okay? So now you notice it's the empress in this strength card. The empress knows her worth. She knows her worth. You may have to... Put yourself first for a change. Because you have a choice. You have a choice. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? And that's exactly what this is. So, be prepared to make some sort of decision. And I think it's an uncomfortable decision. This is what you've waited for. And the chills are still here really big. Um, third party situation perhaps. You probably, like I said, you have to make a choice between two. If this is a celebration. It's also about receiving something that you've been praying for. It's like you sent out the, the call and the call's been answered. You have an opportunity for love here. You just have to make a decision. This is a reason to celebrate. Look at it as that. Let your friends help you if you need, you know, to confide in somebody. Realize that you have support. So I feel like at this time, I mean, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius here. Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. This is what, this is what you've been waiting for, Okay. This is exactly what you've been waiting for. My apologies. Um, my phone rang and I had to answer it. Um, something you've been waiting for. This is this is yin 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 and yang. This is the the puzzle piece that you have longed for. It's the three is the answer to your prayers. So you are being given some sort of gift from above. There's no joke here. In which you have to make a difficult decision. This is a painful, stressful decision. It absolutely is. Do you accept this offer of love or do you stay right where you're at? This is a person that is not your usual type, but... It's a dream come true. And you matter. And it feels to me like in the past you've always turned your back on yourself. You've always put yourself last by the looks of things. But you have these dreams, these subconscious dreams and desires that have been manifesting. <gasps> right? So now you have this opportunity and you have to make a decision between two. Somebody has a genuine offer of love. And you have to decide whether to accept it or not. The tower. When things end, new begin endings bring new beginnings. It's meant wherever you're at now, it's a false foundation. I can't that's what the meaning of the card is. It's not real. It's it's cracked, it's unstable, it's broken. It's not gonna last. All it needs is that one more crack before it, it crumbles. 
and this is universal help. It's like the universe brought this person into your life as a blessing. This is a rude awakening. It's a wake-up call. Opposites attract. There's an opportunity for happy, 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 happy happiness with somebody that is going to love you. Look at them hugging. It's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's, it's love. Real, real love where somebody hugs you genuinely and holds your hand and supports you. Happily ever after. But in order to get this, it's a 10. You have to complete the cycle you're in first. So Aquarius, you have an opportunity for a divine soulmate connection. Somebody that has entered your life wants to take you by the hand and take you away. But you have to make the decision. Do you stay where you are with what you know? Or do you follow your heart, your bliss, your passion, and put yourself first for a change? What's it going to be? Because it's up to you to make that decision. That's what I see. I feel like you are probably going to feel a little uncomfortable because you're forced with making this decision. You're the God, angel, spirits have answered your prayers with the perfect match. Are you ready? Do you, are you going to let it go and pay those consequences for the rest of your life? Or are you going to put yourself first for once? Because that's what this is about. Door to spirit. They've answered your prayers. I told you that. And like, remember I said you guys have gone through some sort of spiritual awakening? You absolutely have. You've manifested this through your awakening. Wanting that divine love. And even if you, if you didn't put partnership on it, they're gonna, if you ask for divine love, that's what they're going to bring you. Spirit has opened this door of opportunity for true love. It's your turn. So Aquarius, you have somebody arriving or they have arrived into your life that <laughs> really wants to take care of you for real. Instead of you always taking care of them, they're gonna, it's going to be equal, mutual. You deserve it. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Just do it. <sighs> Release the one that's holding you back, please. Please. Whoever is holding you back, let them go. Because your perfect match is here, around, to sweep you off your feet. And really, really love you. I mean, really, really love you. It's your decision. You can deny it. Or you can take that mask off and speak your truth. What's it going to be? Your choice. I wouldn't let this go for nothing in the world. up to you. Good luck.